developing this morning, a dangerous situation involving kids in a Volusia County neighborhood. Deputies say they had no choice but to return fire after a 12 and 14 year old started shooting at them. And one of those kids was armed with an AK-47. This happened last night at a home along Enterprise Osteen Road east of I-4. Mark Lehman is there live for us this morning. And Mark, deputies say they tried for hours to de-escalate this. Yeah, the sheriff says deputies made several efforts to try and calm things down at this home here last night. But on every occasion, the sheriff says uh, deputies were met by gunfire uh, from the children who broke into this home. The sheriff expressing disbelief over what happened and outrage over what he calls a failed juvenile justice system. This is something I've never seen in 35 years of policing. The Volusia County Sheriff's Office surrounding a home in Enterprise on Tuesday where they say two children just 12 and 14 years old opened fire on deputies. And here's an indication of a 14 year old and a 12 year old have it so bad in life that they're going to defy law enforcement and engage them in a gun battle. Sheriff Mike Chitwood says the children ran away from a group home, a place they responded to nearly 300 times last year. What the hell is the Department of Juvenile Justice doing sending these kids to places that can't handle them? According to investigators, the 12 year old boy and 14 year old girl broke into a nearby home where they found a shotgun and AK-47. Chitwood says the deputies were met with gunfire as they tried to de-escalate the situation. But they took rounds, multiple, multiple rounds before they were left with no other choice but to return fire. The girl was shot by deputies and rushed to the hospital. The boy was then taken into custody after surrendering. Thankfully, I have deputies who are going home to their families because they knew what to do. They were well trained. No deputies were injured in the gunfire and we're told the 14 year old girl is stable after undergoing surgery for life threatening injuries. Both children are now facing felony charges as for the group home they ran away from. Today we are looking into its, hits, its uh, history and we'll keep you updated with what we learn. For now reporting live in Volusia County, Mark Lehman, getting results, News 6. Mark, thank you.